So I throw Black Ops into my PS3, go and check my combat record, nothing, nothing unusual here, until I check the time played. Exactly three days, three hours, three minutes, and three seconds. And apparently I'm just about to hit level 33. So that was slightly peculiar. <laughs> here are all my stats on screen if you are uh, interested. And what I'm going to be doing here is a special video. It's actually going to be a two-way video of the same game. Uh, I go flawless and my friend uh, almost goes flawless, just dies at the end. And what I'm going to be doing is switching between both of our views so you can get an understanding of um, how uh, my friend uh, plays with me and how we play as a team to... Uh, play well on this map and ultimately uh, get the majority of kills and win by a huge, huge margin. Uh, now on a map like this you definitely want to be getting the advantage by uh, holding down the indoor um, area. As you can see here I've got the close quarter combat um, gun and he's got a long range gun so I'm going to be taking the lead while he follows up behind. Um, in a game like this, uh, if you're going to be spawning outside over and over, you're definitely going to be uh, at a disadvantage. So I take the inside route here and hold down this building. This building uh, gives a nice view across many of the spawns, and if you manage to hold down this building for the whole map, then you're definitely going to do well. As you can see, the enemy team are spawning outside here. This is a hugely open area, and if you get a chopper gunner and they start spawning out here, you're going to be getting yourself a lot of kills. They, uh, DJ Can actually picks up another gun here, because, to be honest, no one likes the Dragonov that much, and I'm not too sure why he used it at the beginning. But um, uh, the stoner that he picks up uh, throughout this match, and perhaps another gun, I can't really remember, but... Um, that def definitely helps him out uh, and gets him a couple more kills, whereas the uh, Dragonov is not a too, uh, too decent gun. I don't like it too much. I think he just used it for a bit of a laugh at the beginning. But then, uh, being resourceful, he uh, picked up another gun. That's another thing I'd like to touch on. Uh, many commentaries you see uh, the commentator using one gun throughout the whole of the match. And one thing that you don't see very much of, especially on YouTube, is actually the commentator... Um, using various guns throughout the match or switching his class throughout the match. Now if you find yourself being completely outclassed close range and using a sniper or an assault rifle, don't be afraid to change to a submachine gun so you can match their performance up close. If you're going for uh, long range kills and the enemies are rushing you, it's not always going to be uh, most effective to use something that has a bad uh, hip fire and hip spray up close. Here I'm going to do another map analysis and that route up there is actually a great way to block off the enemy because they often spawn outside just by the cars. Uh, I go back here and place down my claymore, I think I sound for that guy, the poor kid, and um, it will definitely get me a kill later on. While me and David are holding down this indoor building here, we need to watch out for the opposite building because that is also a very uh, nice place to hold down. And the enemy do have that for most of the uh, game, but it's not a huge problem because it isn't as dominant as the uh, building we are holding down. Uh, now while I've got my chopper gun in the air, I'm going to be able to control the spawns and uh, the enemy team aren't going to be able to go anywhere far. And if they are going to spawn inside, we know which building it's going to be. It's going to be the one on the opposite side of the map. So as, um, as I rip into the enemy team here, Dave's going to take a seat back. Um, I tell him and give him a couple of call outs as to where the enemy team are. He picks off the ones that are indoors and um, from this point onwards it's basically just me holding down the enemy, uh, enemy team while David uh, keeps, his, uh, keeps his cool, you know, he's got a blackbird and he's going to have a chopper gun very soon, he doesn't want to die. Uh, now, what, one thing you do want to remember in TDM is it is all about kills. And although um, helping out your teammates and uh, shooting down air support is vital, because uh, the enemy team don't do that, that this match, um, uh, if, if you are one off a high kill streak, don't be afraid just to pull back a bit and just uh, uh, wait it out so you can get that one more kill and get your really high kill streak. If you get those high kill streaks, you're going to be getting at least five kills, and that's going to be helping out and uh, helping you and your team out a lot. Uh, so just as David pulls out uh, his chopper gunner here, I've switched to a famous I've picked up uh, because I've decided that um, most of the combat uh, situations I'm going to be getting into are going to be at long range and uh, the famous is definitely going to help me out there. Now, as I run into a building, I don't want to be using FAMS, I want to be using my SPAS. If you don't use the SPAS very often, it's actually a really effective gun. What you want to do is throw in a silencer on it, because it doesn't affect its damage or range. So basically, it's a free perk, you're not going to show up on the map. And for a shotgun, um, uh, as you all know probably, shotguns aren't too great in this game. So any, uh, any help you can get, uh, such as a silencer, is fabulous. So I threw on the silencer here. What it means is I can run into their spawn, uh, pick off people, and they'll have no clue I'm there. And uh, because it's probably going to be a team of randomers, they won't be talking too much to each other, so um, I'm going to be able to sneak around like a ninja and get lots of kills. Now as Dave is ripping into the enemy team here, he can help me out by calling uh, out where the enemy is spawning, so I can get a good idea of where they are. 
became an office need be as I pick off the guy indoors here. Uh, so as we said, you know, we're now holding down both of the main main buildings. They're going to be forced to spawn outside, and uh, it's basically an easy win here for me. Now uh, I've got a Machinima video going up soon. If you're watching this and you're from Machinima, hope you're enjoying my content. Uh, it should be out this week. Um, it's Monday today, so if it's out today, then. Uh, uh, I hope you enjoy my channel. Please subscribe. If you're new in general and you're watching the video and you're liking it, then again, please subscribe. Um, it took a long time to uh, switch between those DJ Callan and Ali A uh, titles throughout the match. That was a lot of editing, but you know, uh, I think this is a nice video. And if you guys enjoy it, then rate it and tell me in the comments. What I may do is create a new PSN or add you guys on one of my second PSNs and play with you guys. And if we both get good matches, I'll then do something similar to this with you, uh, with your gameplay and my gameplay, giving you a chance to get on my channel, which would be awesome. Uh, so thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed. I finished a match here, or was just about to finish, uh, 34 and 0, and DJ Callan finishes 31 and 1, he just got, dies at the end unfortunately, but um, we completely ripped into the enemy team, and as you can see here we got, uh, let's see, 90% of the kills I believe, so a very good game. So thank you very much for watching guys, uh, like is always appreciated, and uh, if you are new, subscribe. Thank you very much.